Breaking news out of the Middle East. A U.S. embassy is attacked in Israel by a man wielding an axe and a knife, as we said. That's right. It's all happening overnight. Christian Amanpour has been reporting just moments ago that any ground invasion by Israel is on hold at this hour. That is good news because that was a big step toward escalating in the violence. And Hillary Clinton on her way there right now to meet with all sides. So let's get right to ABC's Matt Gutman in Ramallah with the latest. Good morning, Matt. Good morning, George. Anger rising here in Ramallah, where Secretary of State Clinton is to arrive later today. Now, just 40 miles west of here in Tel Aviv, an Israeli man stabbing a guard at the U.S. Embassy, showing how tense things are here. This morning, an Israeli man armed with an axe and a knife stabbed a guard at the U.S. Embassy in Tel Aviv. The guard was wounded, but apparently managed to fire off a few shots. The security officers wrestling the man to the ground. Secretary Clinton arrives today in an effort to calm a roiling Mideast, with the administration coming under fire for its apparent <coughs> lack of action. The conversations you're having with Israel about this, isn't there, are you not at any point asking them to sort of maybe um, rein things in? Tensions here fraying 70 miles south of here in Gaza. Israeli jets cratering over 100 targets, killing five, and Gaza militants blasted off over 60 rockets in Israel. And ABC News was there as one family bolted to their bomb shelter as the siren sounded. With columns of Israeli tanks massing on the Gaza border, the Israeli cabinet is stepping back from the brink, postponing a Gaza ground invasion for a day, but warning only a long-term ceasefire could avert a dreaded ground assault. And the wild card, of course, George, is the millions of Palestinians living in the West Bank. And with Israel seeming to negotiate, albeit indirectly, with Hamas more than it has with the Palestinian Authority, it's going to be a very difficult task for Secretary Clinton to bring some sort of lasting calm here. George. Boy, it sure is. You know, the White House has said time and time again that Israel is right to defend itself, but they clearly want to de-escalate this conflict. Yeah, and depending on Egypt to help in that whole effort.